Welcome back to Chicago. Nearly a month after Kamala Harris took over the top of the ticket from Joe Biden, her campaign is energized by a big boost in fundraising, volunteering, poll numbers. But how does the campaign turn that enthusiasm into votes on the ground? Joining us now is someone running for the Senate herself, Democratic Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester of Delaware. She is a national co-chair of the Harris Falls campaign and, of course, is very close to Joe Biden. It's only been a month. Yes. This is an emotional roller coaster. It has to be for him. Come here today. He thought he was coming to be, you know, welcomed as the nominee to speak on Thursday night. Instead, he's the keynote on Monday night, right. bidding farewell. Yeah. Yeah. It, it truly has been an emotional uh, month. It's interesting, the day that he made his announcement, um, I remember saying to myself, you can hold two things in your hands simultaneously. One is gratitude. Um, I mean, just for him stepping up and running in 2020 when he really didn't have to do it. And he, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, he, we had a meeting, the two of us, just one-on-one. -on -one, and I remember him talking about Charlottesville and what he saw and how it motivated him. And so that motivation, really propelled us to this place. And at the same time, I've got, in my other hand, gratitude and excitement about Kamala Harris, who was his vice presidential choice. So there's the gratefulness, there's the joy, um, but at the same time, there's also energy and excitement about Kamala Harris. Now, he said in his farewell speech that he didn't think it was necessary for him to step aside, but he was persuaded for the good of the party. Did you think it was the right thing to do? Yeah. You know, I very much trusted him. I trusted his gut. Um, and I trusted his heart and his head in making this decision because it really was his decision. You know, when he came into office, his whole goal was really to restore the soul of his country and to bring us out of a pandemic, a once in a lifetime pandemic. But I don't think anybody could have predicted how important and consequential his administration would be would be. I mean, in one administration, in one term, he's done more than some presidents do in two. And so to me, the decision that he made was the same as when he first decided to run in the first place, focused on the American people. What is best for the American people? What is best for the future of this country? And I, I just, again, I'm so proud of who he is. Um, I, I love the play Hamilton. And I think one of the pivotal things in Hamilton was when George Washington had to make that decision to not be a king or a dictator like some other people want to be. For Joe Biden to be who he is, um, I'm, I'm just proud. We're proud. Delaware is proud. I, I want to ask you about some of the groups yeah. that are now coming back to Kamala Harris, yes. black voters in particular, yes. women, young people. But there's still a hard, yeah. a hard struggle to get. Latino voters, the Hispanic community. What is the campaign doing? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, I think there's such excitement and momentum that we're feeling now. And it's coming from all different places. I mean, the fact that on day one, you know, you had black women for Kamala, then you had black men, white women for Kamala, and white dudes, that was powerful. But we also had, which probably wasn't as much advertised, uh, a focus on our Latino voters as well as AAPI. And so this campaign has really invested and is investing millions of dollars to go to places where people are, meet them where they are. And that's also including black and brown radio um, news outlets and others as well. So it's going to be both um, on the ground, but also make sure that we communicate the message out that this is about an opportunity economy, not trickle down, not going backwards, but about going forwards. And I think our messengers, our message are the things that are going to be uh, inspirational to the voters.